Welcome to your Barbados Today Morning News Update today, October 27. Thanks for joining us. A plan to bolster ailing Caribbean economies hard hit by the fallout from COVID-19 will be on the agenda when CARICOM leaders meet on Thursday. Word of this from Prime Minister Mia Motley as she spoke to reporters on Monday. CARICOM heads of government meets on Thursday. I, as lead Prime Minister for CSME, have been charged with being able to see how we can put a program together so that the countries that are now flagging in the region because of COVID, that we can work cooperatively rather than individually. This can only happen by focusing on serious issues. Prime Minister Mia Motley made the revelation as she challenged opposition parties to get serious about the issues given the challenges facing the country. She chided political parties, particularly the Democratic Labour Party, for opting out of televised debates. What is now masquerading as a political party in the Democratic Labour Party is a far cry. And, and, and I ask not just for the sake of the people of St. George North, I ask for the sake of the people of Barbados. Get serious and go back to the table, go back to George Street and come to the people of Barbados with a credible program that represents the basic fundamentals of democracy and politics as we have practiced it in this country. Motley has the support of Solutions Barbados candidate Granville Phillips on this issue. He contends that those parties who have bowed out of the debate are selling themselves short. A grave disservice. They have their plans bring their plans um, to Barbadians for scrutiny. Don't hide them and simply just uh, announce their plans and not have them vetted. The debates are a chance to have plans vetted, to have them questioned. A lot of their plans are very, very weak, I can tell you. Um, but they are trying to shield them from scrutiny. If they don't show up, they should be um, under no illusions, their plans will still be scrutinized. So they better show up and try and defend them. But the candidate for the United Progressive Party, Ambrose Grosvenor, contends that the election is about representation, tackling the issues that matter most to the people. I know that I, as I travel around St. George North, I get first hand the issues in St. George North. Hence, you will never hear me say that I am surprised at the persistent water outages that affect residents of Paradise, Jericho, Newberry, and other districts. When you total those residents, then you have like 900 people who frequently, at least three times a week, have water outages. And if you are offering yourself as a candidate in 2020 and you are not aware of the extent of what the outages, then to me, morally, you are not fit to be the candidate for St. George North. For his part, the candidate for the People's Party for Democracy and Development, David Warren, says he has a plan to improve the lives of the people of St. George North and it involves reviving agriculture. I I met on the road by persons who are saying to me, I like the message you are you're bringing to, to us. I like what you are saying about our culture. I like the fact that you are saying to us that we have hope. We have an industry that we can develop. Um, tourism right now is literally on the dying bed. Um, we don't know when or how soon tourism will be back on its feet. But we have an industry that can be developed. We need a land lease program in St. George North. We need to give young people in St. George North an opportunity and some hope, an opportunity to, to start their own businesses through agriculture. There's regional and international news after this short break.
regional news in the Bahamas, tourism workers say they're still in the dark about their future and they want answers from the government. We get the details from my witness news in the Bahamas. Furloughed workers say they feel left in the dark and trapped in limbo as short-term layoffs drag on, with thousands of employees not knowing when or if they will get called back to work. This, as Bahamas Hotel Catering and Allied Workers Union President Darren Woods tells Eyewitness News, that workers are struggling to figure out if they should wait or to put energy into finding new work. Because we want to know what can be done because we represent those people up there. They're asking us questions. And, and we can't really answer because we only hear from the employer. The employer said they need to talk to government. So the thing about it is we, we were trying to see how best we can get there to, to get it done. Atlantis workers earlier this month protested for severance pay as they've been home for more than half a year. The emergency order suspended redundancy provisions requiring local businesses to pay full severance to furloughed workers after 13 weeks or 90 days. The suspension will be lifted 30 days after the end of the emergency order. However, many say they are concerned as there's no telling when it will end. That was done particularly to address a lot of businesses um, small, medium, medium, and large businesses that did not have the financial capacity to pay severance pay to all of their employees. On the international scene, the U.S. Senate has confirmed Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court in a victory for President Donald Trump a week before the general election. Mr. Trump's fellow Republican voted 52 to 48 to approve the judge overcoming the unified opposition of Democrats. I, Amy Coney Barrett, would solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The oath that I have solemnly taken tonight means at its core that I will do my job without any fear or favor and that I will do so independently of both the political branches and of my own preferences. This is a momentous day for America, for the United States Constitution, and for the fair and impartial rule of law. It is highly fitting that Justice Barrett fills the seat of a true pioneer for women. It's Justice Ruth Bader, Ginsburg. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.